Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Well, this past week we had several days that were at least in the 50s. We had two that were in the 60s, and we had one that actually touched 70 degrees. That tied a record yesterday, but that was just out ahead of a cold front. That explains why it was so windy yesterday. We had wind gusts that exceeded 40 miles per hour in Eau Claire. But then once we had that cold front move through, it passed through dry, but it did bring our winds out of the north. They started to relax a bit through the overnight. And as we cleared out, that allowed for more radiational cooling. And that explains why we had a more typical November start to the morning with a lot of our temperatures that were in the 20s. Now, believe it or not, Black River Falls actually a little warmer this morning than they were yesterday, only by a matter of a degree or two. But that's just because yesterday morning they didn't quite have the influence of those very gusty winds out of the south, at least not early on. Otherwise, 24 the low in Eau Claire, 28 was the low in La Crosse. Very few spots managed to stay in the 30s. Otherwise, seasonable temperatures take us through today. We did have some cloud cover that moved in early on. Kept us in the 30s for the most part this morning, but do have a few more hours of daylight left, in which case we are expecting widespread sunshine to take us through the rest of the afternoon. Otherwise, tonight, winds make a return out of the southwest, and that's going to help warm us up for tomorrow and for Sunday. Not quite like what we saw for most of this week, but it'll still put us about 10 degrees above average. And mind you, for reference, our average high this time of year, typically in the low 40s. And not just today that's filled with sunshine. Saturday and Sunday will have plenty of sunshine as well. Temperatures today expect to hang out mostly in the mid 40s and a light wind that's mostly out of the west between 5 to 10 miles per hour through the rest of the afternoon. Looking at temperatures right now, most of us in the upper 30s and low 40s. La Crosse has rebounded to 41 degrees, as has Ellsworth and Eau Claire sitting at 38 degrees right now. Otherwise, winds have been very light. Again, earlier they were more out of the north. Later on this evening, expected to turn a little bit more out of the southwest. Most places right now between 3 and 8 miles per hour. There's a look at some of that cloud cover that moved through early on, most of which has pushed off towards the east. Now, as we had that cold front move through last night, we stayed dry, but eastern parts of the state did see a few showers out of it. But looking at the rest of the evening, expected to stay mainly clear, and that's going to be the story through most of the weekend here. Again, looking at the winds on Saturday, mostly out of the west. Tomorrow night, mainly clear, pretty much the same story as we are expecting uh, for today. And going into Sunday afternoon, winds make a return out of the southeast and still going to keep us a little bit above average. Highs today, mostly in the mid to upper 40s before tonight. Similar, maybe just a few degrees warmer than we dipped to uh, earlier this morning with a lot of places in the upper 20s and low 30s. Now, as I had mentioned, we do get a little bit of a warm up through the weekend. But don't get too used to that because looking at the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook, again, this is a confidence interval, but there is some very high confidence that the Great Lakes region expected to remain well below average going into Turkey Day. And that is reflected on our 7 day forecast. Again, we'll have those 50s and some sunshine to take us through the weekend. Monday, some cloud cover makes a bit of a return, cooling us off just a few degrees. A few isolated snow showers possible early in the day on Tuesday, but this comes as those winds ramp up quite a bit going into the middle of next week. And that's going to cool us down to the upper 20s and low 30s for our highs. Now for a Sunshine Award, Florence Ziegler would like to nominate Carol Gale and says, In July, I had to move to the Chippewa Manor, and her four sisters helped me get moved, and they did it all. Carol got everything transferred, and she cleaned my old apartment up also. Now she stops in after she gets done working to make sure I'm okay and that I have everything I need. She takes me to doctor appointments, takes me for groceries, and helps me always. Her mother does take me places to visit just to get me out of the apartment and takes me places if Carol can't. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com. Wow, lows in the teens next week. Yep, and uh, even looking, I mean, there's a few things that could change between now and then, but looking just beyond the forecast period, our highs may stay in the low to mid-20s. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we all know what comes after uh, we had that nice warm-up this past week. Yes, we do. All right, thanks, Mike. You bet.